Hi, this is Bob. Cold winter day with 7 degrees outside today. It's a little warmer right now. I think it's up to about 15. Got about 6-8 inches of snow out there, so it's a good time to come in and work on something. This belongs to a friend of mine, and I told him I would take a look at it. This is a HX1681 Heath Kit Transmitter. It's a CW transmitter with a pair of 6146's in the final. And it is so dirty. Those are resistors down there. You can't even see the colors on them. And there appears to be a lot of sawdust in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a wash job in the, uh, in the sink with dishwashing detergent and water and scrubbing with a, uh, with a paintbrush. So this is the before pictures, before anything was started. These are a real nice CW rig. The uh, companion receiver, uh, I don't remember the model number of the companion receiver, but uh, they make a real nice CW rig. But the receiver that goes with this is extremely good. It's probably the best uh, receiver that uh, Heath Company made. As far as transmitters go, this is as good as, as any, I suppose, for CW. It is all uh, transistorized. This is my uh, cleaning brush that I'm going to wash with. But uh, all the circuits are, uh, are transistorized. This circuit board comes out, so I will take that out when I clean it, when I wash it. And then these uh, transistorized VFO here, too. And they drive this tube, which I believe is a 12BY7. I'll find out when I take it out and they drive two 6146's in here. But the first thing is to get all this dirt out of there, lubricate the uh, capacitor uh, bearings and the capacitor wipers, and then lubricate the shafts on the controls. And I may have to put a drop of oil inside the controls with my hypodermic syringe. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So that's it for right now, just a brief uh, look at uh, at a new uh, project. So uh, 73's and good DX.